A tournament came to be and it was probably an, an effort as a promotion of the Sea Pines uh, Plantation. It was a marketing effort. The Sea Pines decided it wanted to build a championship golf course. Uh, they contacted Jack Nicklaus. Jack Nicklaus said, I'm not really ready to start designing golf courses. Uh, let's get Pete Dye involved. This was probably the, either the second or third golf course he did. And then when they were nearly complete, uh, Pete Dye came to Sea Pines and basically said, this, is tournament, this course is tournament worthy. The first tournament was supposed to be in 1968, but it ended up being in 1969. Harbor Town was just being constructed. In the first tournament, the lighthouse had scaffolding around it. Basically, everybody that came to the tournament parked in Harbor Town or alongside the road leading into Harbor Town. You know, there may have been 1,500 fans on site or something like that. So it was a it was a totally different experience. Arnold Palmer won the tournament. You know, every big name known to golf, you know, Sam Snead, uh, and all the big names playing that time were playing in the golf tournament. I think Arnold Palmer won with either minus three or minus two. So it was hard. And actually before the second tournament, they took out a lot more trees, but they, it was a very, very difficult golf course. They, they all liked it. I mean, they thought it was a true test. This tournament was actually one of the first tournaments that signed up for the PGA Tour when it broke off from the PGA of America. It's been incredible. You know, our first skyboxes, we probably didn't have a skybox until 1987. You know, we may have had some bleachers, but there was not much out there. It's big now. It's just a much bigger, broader event. The uh, players are bigger stars. They're making bigger money. It's the only regularly recurring PGA Tour event in South Carolina. Everything revolves around Heritage Week in a sense that if you drive around now, everybody's sprucing up. You know, they're doing their springtime cleaning, they're painting, they're landscaping. You know, they're getting their house in order to put on a good show. When you think about the publicity generated by the tournament and the number of hours, it's on television, social media, uh, newsprint, and everything else. It still sells the island. Uh, back in the day, they could attribute it to actually selling lots because that's what Sea Pines was doing. It was selling lots. But today, it still brings people to the island. You know, when you're sitting in, when you're sitting up in the Northeast and it still may be snowing and raining and you see the beautiful covers down here, people get a little antsy and they're ready to come. A good many tournaments celebrate 50 years. Very few, less than five, celebrate 50 years on the same golf course. And we're one of the four or five tournaments outside of uh, Augusta that uh, have been played continuously on the same golf course for more than 50 years. So it's old home week, you see a lot of people on the golf course. We used to call it adult spring break. Uh, you know, that was kind of our theme for a while. But, uh, you know, everybody has, a, everybody has a great time, everybody's happy.